for yeah with support for AKS that means that more and more of your stuff can be collected so that you can um, detect yeah. things that are going wrong. Yeah, so let me show you. So in AKS, we've got a couple of ways that we can support AKS. So if I just show you one of them, if I can find it now. So the first thing we'd recommend people do if you're using AKS is to come here to diagnostic settings. Um, and what you can do here um, is you can select which type of uh, administrative type logs you might want to send to Sentinel or into, into a log analytics workspace. So I'm not gonna read them all out. You can see there's um, a number that you can send here. Um, and you can see I've already set it up here, but essentially all you do is click add diagnostic setting. You can call it whatever you want and you can send, you can pick which logs you want to send or you can do everything. Um, so um, with the diagnostics, um, and we have this across Azure by the way, um, but of course AKS, you can send to log analytics and Sentinel sits on top of a log analytics. I should have said right. that just for clarity. So that's how you send to Sentinel, but also you can just put these in a storage account or or um, if you were using a third party theme or a third party system, you could stream it to an event hub and that's the way you can stream it out of Azure. So um, in terms of good security monitoring practices and good monitoring practices, you should be doing something like this with your AKS. Right, the gotcha. other thing, sorry, go on. <laughs> no, 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 that's, that's super useful. Yeah, the other thing we've got is, so that's um, getting some of the raw logs into Sentinel, so you sh should definitely do that. The other thing is looking at using Security Center. So Security Center is our infrastructure security hygiene tool. It has lots of different recommendations um, around security hygiene. The idea being that with AKS, uh, with AKS and anything else, and I will just put it in, it helps if I know how to spell Kubernetes. <laughs> Um, so you can see here, um, uh, Security Center gives you recommendations for your security hygiene. Um, so when we say security hygiene, what we mean is, um, you know, just patching, making sure um, you don't have um, default username and passwords. This sounds really basic, but there's so much research that shows that people get this wrong all the time. Um, and um, you know, so many, so many breaches would not happen if people did their security hygiene well. So Security Center helps with that, but specifically for AKS, you can see here, um, it will give you uh, recommendations as to how you can actually improve the general security hygiene of your Kubernetes cluster. So using role-based access control, uh, restrict mm -hmm. IP ranges, um, if I, um, and then we've got, I won't read them all out, um, but then we have Azure Defender. So Azure Defender is our um, infrastructure security threat alerts, um, and it now includes AKS. So um, you can see here, for example, um, we have a exposed Kubernetes dashboard detected. And of course, anyone who's been around Kubernetes for a while knows that the good old <laughs> exposed dashboard is a really good vector for security attacks. Um, but what we, um, and this is just an example of an alert we get, um, there's quite a lot more. But then the idea is with this, of course, hopefully people watching this, you know why it's bad, but essentially this is the admin dashboard. If this is exposed to the internet, much it makes it much easier for someone to potentially breach your system. Um, and then this alert, you would feed into a seam solution. So um, wow. ideally Sentinel, uh, but it can be other ones as uh, Of course there are third party ones as well. Um, mm -hmm. And then, cause this is uh, what, um, what Security Center does is look for um, look for things that actually look like a threat. And so, you know, um, some of the other things, uh, hygiene and configuration things, are they might be a problem, but not necessarily. But it's good practice to fix them. Whereas if you see an alert like this, it's like actually this is bad. You need to do the something you about need to it. Sort out. Yeah, yeah. as you can see, we've got high severity there. And I would agree, like having an exposed dashboard is not a good way to go. Um, no, definitely not. no, it's really not. So, oh, we've got a few of those actually. Um, oh, that's This is oh, a demo oh. environment though, right? This is a demo <laughs> environment. So yeah, but yeah, I should point out this is a demo environment and it is purposely kind of full of bad things. As you can see, as I scroll down. Um, so you